You looking for this? And in the end, it was that part of him, even if only for a brief moment, that conquered his demons he plays Gordon in the Batman. and saved his world. Uh, you saw it, didn't you? The Forge, Kahori, the monster in Strange. We nearly lost everything. But we didn't. The multiverse didn't need me to intervene, Peggy. It just needed you. Cook? Mm. I like that music. Oh, there's a butterfly. Bruh. It's kind of poetic. So, ready finally to get back to your universe. I am. But perhaps we could take the scenic route home. Surely there's something worth seeing along the way. Oh, Captain. Just you watch. Whoa. Yo, dude. Dude, what? that's it. What? Welcome back to Boom Shot. I'm <laughs> Kale, this is Colby. <laughs> and uh, we just finished watching uh, What If Season 2. And it was good, man. It was good. So uh, we're going to break down our thoughts on this show and this season starting now. Okay, so... You know, you know the first question always is, what'd you think? What, what, what'd you like? <clears throat> so, yeah, we just finished watching episode nine. There's mm-hmm. nine episodes, and, you know, this is going to be like an episode nine reaction slash season review. Yeah. And as as a whole, the season, I, I actually really liked it. Yeah. I thought it was fire, and, and I think season three is <clears throat> coming out pretty soon, so I'm hyped for that, too. But uh, I think a lot of the, the episodes were were very intriguing, just, just the way, and we can get into specifics of each, you know, one, but... Just the way they they dived into different uh, ideas of what could happen, and and there weren't ones that I necessarily thought of uh, when I think of what if scenarios, but mm-hmm. I think they worked out well. Yeah, and I feel like whenever this show first or like originally got announced, it was like we thought it would be more like the comic series what if, where it's like you take one event in in like Marvel history and it changes like and changes the way that it happened and it completely rewrites. Like for example, I seen this on Twitter. Like what if. Uh, the other half got blipped. That was one. Like, instead yeah. of, you know, so, like, that's what we originally thought of. But these are just, like, different kind of, like, stories. And they, like, they're tied to characters from season one now. Because we've seen, like, Captain Carter return. We saw uh, Gamora return from season uh, one. Oh, yeah. Strange, Strange Supreme return. Uh, yeah, so, like, now we're just, like, what ifing on their what if a scenario already. Like, does that make yeah. any sense? Yeah, because I feel like, like, when I was thinking about this, it would be... Like more so what ifs from our universe, mm-hmm. but it's also just kind of what ifs unrelated. In general, yeah. yeah. So which I think is cool because um, it introduces us to new characters and completely new characters like Cahorty. Yeah. So um, I, yeah, I think that's cool that they did that. But it, yeah, like like you said, it's not necessarily what I thought of initially. But I'm glad they went this route too because like the Watcher has kind of become like his own character. I thought yeah, and he interacts with Captain Carter and stuff, so he could end up being a bigger character. And especially with the ending we just saw. Yeah, exactly. I think he could. He could. I. I that's a good point, and it, it does make him more involved. Like, because it's no longer him just like narrating events now. Like, he is a part of the yeah. the story, which is kind of like what he's not supposed to do. But yeah. <laughs> but it works out. So yeah, I, I agree with that. What was your favorite episode? Because <clears throat> um, they don't really relate that much until like the very end. I think <clears throat> probably my favorite would have to be. And I, I, th- I think yours might be the same, but probably what if Tony crashed into uh, the Grandmaster? Yeah. Uh, because I, I've, I've always thought that, like in Thor Ragnarok, that whole idea was cool in Contest of Champions, the app. Yeah. Like, I was so entrenched in that. Um, and I think that whole idea is cool with the Grandmaster. And uh, I think, I like how they tied it. That was one with Gamora, right? Yeah, it was. I like how they tied that in. And... Um, yeah, that's I think fair. that they said that that episode was originally supposed to be in season one, but got scrapped. So ah. <clears throat> it was supposed to set up Gamora's, like her being a guardian ah, okay. of the multiverse or whatever. Um, that makes sense. But yeah, I think I really love that episode. It just reminds me that Tony's one of my favorite characters yeah, of all time. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Cause like, that, see that one was like an original what if scenario because yeah. like he's taking the nuke up and it actually yeah. does shut. And so he doesn't make it out and crashes into Sakaar. Um, but we get to see like his ingenuity, like the fact that yeah. he makes like the the best Bro. freaking car on the planet, dude. Yeah, but he, he <clears throat> utilizes it when when they think they've got him, and he yeah. just reassembles it. That exactly. part was sick, bro. That exactly. was my favorite moment. Like, well, 
this moment at the very mm-hmm. end too. But when he when he reassembles it into the car, that was just awesome. But yeah, and it solidified him as like a uh, not just one of the smartest people. I mean, like we obviously we know figured out time travel. Like this happened before that, but um, it solidified him as one of the smartest people in the universe. Uh, yeah. Because like the grandmaster's like nah, and, and <laughs> he cooked them. Dude. Yeah, and then who was it? Who was telling him? Who was the grandmaster talking to? Was like he just defeated Thanos, like. You yeah. don't want to mess with this dude, and yeah. so that that I thought that was really cool because like you like you almost think like the Grandmaster's always got a step ahead of everybody. Like he he seemed like he did in Thor Ragnarok, but he didn't, and I thought that was awesome. Yeah, and it's kind of like similar to Loki as well, where like you take someone from the first Avengers mm-hmm. and, and see what would happen if they got put in a different scenario, and we saw Loki do what was right, and we saw Tony change the. I mean, like Endgame would have never happened. Yeah. Because they took out Thanos, and and you saw that he he could uh, convince Gamora to be good, mm-hmm. and and I think that's a testament to Tony's character, like morale, his character, and I yeah. think that was a cool thing to see. Like that's what would have happened if he got stuck there. He wouldn't have just like left. And he he saved the car and then saved everyone when he when he took out Thanos with Gamora. Dude, yeah, I I don't know. I really love that episode. I uh, also really liked. Um, the last episode was obviously really cool. That felt a lot like Contest of Champions, the app, too, <laughs> yeah, because yeah. there's just, like, all these heroes trapped in these, like, little pods or whatever. And That was Cap- cool to see. Yeah, and then Captain... And it was a turn. Yeah, Captain Carter, like, threw her shield, like, breaks all of them out, and they just start fighting. Yeah. Uh, another episode I really enjoyed was the the Happy Save Christmas one. I didn't expect <laughs> that. I didn't expect to like that one so much, but any episode with Tony in it, I was pretty much a fan yeah. of. Yeah, and then, uh, what if, uh... What if Peter Quill invaded Earth? Yes, dude. that was a cool one. Because um, uh, yeah, that was cool to see Howard Stark. Because I think it was cool to see like kind of like a an old school Avengers kind of come together for that one. Yeah, uh, you know with Hank Pym too. And we got to see uh, the Bill Foster too. Yeah, like yeah. that was sick. Yeah, and that was like a little what if scenario or like just like an insight to what we'd seen in the Ant Man movies mm-hmm. uh, about his character. So that was cool. Yeah, and it was also really cool to see Ego back as well. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, it, I don't know. We got to see, like, all that stuff. Like, what if Ego's expansion, like, what if, like, what if Yondu, there was, like, multiple what ifs in that. Like, what if Yondu took uh, Peter to Ego and then, he, like, it's just a bunch of stuff. And, and yeah, I think that it's cool, too, that something I just thought about is, like, all of the what if scenarios based around characters we already know, like heroes, they're still, they still have that hero uh in them in mm-hmm. every in every universe really because you know peter was being manipulated by ego but he still turned in the end and saved everyone and same yeah. with tony and, and i think and bucky too because he yeah. was about to kill he's about to snipe uh yeah peter. bucky yeah you saw that was still in him and nebula in the first episode i think it was when when she saves everybody so mm-hmm. i think it's cool to see that you know and also we like kind of like with spider-man and, and no way home that, yeah uh or even across the Spider Verse, mm-hmm. that you know they're, they're still they're even in different universes they still have that hero in them. Yeah, exactly. It's like intrinsic. So, uh, what do you think about Peggy being the main character? Um, I like it, and I think <clears throat> I think it's gonna. She has a solid chance of showing up sometime soon in live mm-hmm. action. Yeah, because I mean we did see her in live action, but it wasn't her. I don't it, think. Yeah, it wasn't like the it wasn't like Peggy Carter from our universe yeah. type thing. Yeah, so I I think especially when we saw the Idrisil tree at the end there, we could I wouldn't be surprised if if we see if we see Loki again if he's just like chilling with the Watcher mm-hmm. and he's just like talking with the Watcher. Yeah, he's just like let me introduce you to Loki. Yeah, because Loki's lonely, dude. He's when like, you when I'm you so. think about it, Loki's kind of a Watcher. Like, yeah, he he became a Watcher but can't transcend. Well, no. He can transcend multiverse. He's kind of on the same level as a Watcher. Yeah. So uh, maybe, I think that would be cool if we see like the Watcher in live action, even though it'd probably be like CGI. Yeah. Uh, it, like just chilling with Loki. Mm-hmm. Dude, that would be so sick. I, I want to, I definitely want to see that. But that was a, I, do you think that, so you think they're going to u- utilize that little scene or you think they just kind of threw that in there just to be like, just kind of uh, like reward I fans? could see it going either way because Loki had just come out and, and that was kind of like the big ending is, is Loki's, you know, watch, watching over the um, multiverse and holding it together. But I wouldn't be surprised if they also brought in the Watcher or, or uh, Captain Carter to live action. Yeah, I definitely, I could see that. And I really just enjoyed, like, I, I enjoyed this season a lot. Like I said, I didn't sh- expect to enjoy it that much, but um, I think it was really cool. Like, it just, they had, they had a lot of cool concepts. But um, is there anything else you want to talk about? 
Um, I feel like I had something I wanted to say and I forgot it. Yeah, there's just so much that went on because every episode is is different. They don't a tie together. Scenario. Yeah. Um, let me see. I'm gonna pull out the episode list real quick. Um, Kahori. We could talk about Kahori. Oh yeah, yeah. She's a brand new. She's a brand new character. Yeah. When I started watching that, I was uh, I was like on a work trip, and I was like, I was like, I remember the uh, like them talking about introducing a completely new character and I was like wait a minute this, this must be her but I, I liked her and I like how she came back in the end too mm-hmm. I didn't see that coming when when Strange told Captain Carter to go get the lost uh, villain or whatever that it would be her and she wasn't really a villain he was getting heroes too but yeah I like how they tied her back in and she seems super powerful as, as she should be because she's like infused with, the, <laughs> with, the, with, with the, space stone, so. the space stone yeah she has a lot of yeah. She has a lot of really interesting powers, and then obviously getting to see Strange Supreme back was uh, was really cool. Yeah, um, that was cool. And he was dude. He, talking about powerful, bro. Dude, literally. I mean, he was he was he was going to go <laughs> toe to toe with six Infinity Stones, Mjolnir, uh, Hela's helmet thing, and <laughs> um, sword, and I, all that kind of ten like, rings. Yeah, the ten rings. Uh, every every weapon. It was yeah. crazy. But and that reminds me, Hela was. Was kind of a big character this season too. Yeah, she was. was uh, in the in the Ten Rings, Hella in the Ten Rings episode, and I think that was super cool. How it tied into like the first Thor movie mm-hmm. when when Odin was still like, uh, whoever wears this must have mercy, and, and then they'll have the powers of Hella, mm-hmm. and then it ended up being Hella, kind of like Thor, but yeah, but like a precursor to Thor. Uh, I think that was cool. Yeah, it's kind of crazy because, like, I feel like Odin would have absolutely destroyed them, <laughs> like comically. It, it, like Odin's broken, but uh, yeah, Hela's pretty broken too. But yeah, uh, without I, her helmet. Though. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, but, I mean, yeah. with her helmet, it would have been a, definitely a fair fight between yeah. like her and then uh, Winwu. So with yeah, the Ten Rings. I will say Odin. Odin felt a, a little. A little different, but he was different at that time. It was just cool to see Odin yeah, fight, dude. Cool. I'd, I'd never seen that before, and I was like, dang, I can't wait to watch this. So, um, and I, like his weapon is insane. And she was like, you need to separate him from the whatever. And when we was like, what? <laughs> She's like, that's his weapon. <laughs> but yeah, it was that was a really cool episode too. And I'm trying to think. There's another one. Oh yeah, like we saw we saw Natasha in a couple of episodes. Oh yeah, as the, well in the red room and all that. That was cool to see. Yeah, because uh, at the end of that is when Captain Carter gets taken in by Wanda, mm-hmm. uh, and then that's when we get the Shakespeare episode, Shakespeare in the Park. Yeah, uh, what if scenario? That's what it made me think of. What do you think about the voice acting? Uh, it was great. It amazes me how they bring back. Uh, like all the main act or a lot of the main actors to voice act. Yeah. Uh, I think that that's awesome because it, it makes you feel like it's the the continuity. Same, yeah, the continuity and it's the same even though it's in a different universe. It's the same voice actors and stuff. So yeah, I remember. I remember last. I feel like I can remember last. What if season people were like the voice acting was kind of mid because and it would make sense because all of these actors are live action and so yeah. it's like a voice actors. It's not as easy as it looks. Is what, no, is no. what I'm saying. So. Um, it definitely it felt like it got better this season. Yeah, though. and you can tell the difference between like a a like distinguished voice actor yeah. and like a, a live actor. Like I could tell the difference, but it was still pretty good. Yeah, and I think <clears> Jeffrey <throat> Wright has killed it Dude. all along, and he's got he's Captain such Gordon, good, man, such a good voice, man. Dude, I know it's like a it, it, yeah, and then obviously I can't go without mentioning the. Uh, the theme, dude. the The theme for what if is fire. It's yeah, it is, gas. man. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes, just the music in general. I'm like, I, I just gotta watch the the intro for the yeah, feel of it, dude. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> dun dun dun. And then you just have like that beautiful voice narrating yeah. over it. And I'm like, this is sick. But um, ponder the question: What if? Yeah. But obviously, like you said, they got a season three coming up. Um, I don't know how soon, but there were. Hopefully it's. I don't know if it'll be at the end of this year, maybe early next year or something like that. But I don't think. I don't imagine it'll take them another two years to yeah, pick up a season. So. Yeah, I think it's. I feel like it'll be next year, so I'm pretty hyped for it. And I think this is a show they can continue on for a long, long oh, time yeah. because it's just got so many different. Hopefully, hopefully they start to make it more of like an anthology type thing. Maybe yeah. make the episodes a little bit longer and tight. Maybe do like arcs instead of uh instead of like you do like nine or eight different episodes and then they all tie in together at the very end. Like that's cool and all, but maybe like try a different like method or mode and just to mix it yeah. up a little bit and see what people like. But yeah. Cause and that's a good point. Cause I saw a lot of people saying like, this is, this is the Marvel show that could literally go forever because mm-hmm. you have infinite realities and stuff. So, and it would be cool to see 
stuff like that starting to tie in with each other more mm-hmm. and more, and it probably will the more we see, like, just just because, like, you have multiversal beings. Yeah, but. exactly. And so, yeah, yeah, they could definitely make, they could definitely do that, because, oh, but it also, it, it's so much. It, it The Marvel Universe is really weird at this point, but I really like this show. I What would you rate it? Maybe, like, a... I'm, I don't know. I feel like it could stick it at an 8. Yeah, I was going to say 7.5 or 8. Yeah. And also, shout out, it was cool to see T'Chaka in yeah, that episode dude. we were talking about. I, I, I really like that. That was probably my second favorite episode, I think, with, with Peter Quill. I remember this last one was good, too. There's a lot of good episodes. Yeah, there really there just was a lot of good episodes. But, yeah, um, yeah I think I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10 and definitely looking forward to Season 3. But let us know what you guys think. Did you like this episode? And thank you guys for watching. Or this season, sorry. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.